In this video, we're going to be explaining exactly how to backtest your trading strategy or expert advisor in MT5 or MetaTrader 5. And before we get into showing you exactly how we do this, I do have to say that I did make a video previously about how to backtest in MT4 if you'd prefer. However, I do recommend backtesting in MT5 as there's a lot cooler features that can give you a lot better results. So in this video, I'm gonna explain exactly how to test your expert advisor, why this is important, as well as how to backtest like a pro so that way you can tune your expert advisor to get even better results. So let's go ahead and let's dive in here. First things first is I want to talk about your data because the data is really important when you're back testing. If you're downloading data from some crappy broker, then uh, you're really not going to be able to tune your expert advisor or get the results that you want to. It is kind of industry norm and industry uh, highest standard to use Alpari data. So just go to Alpari's website and download their MetaTrader 5 terminal. It's for free. They'll give you a demo account right away. This is going to give you the highest quality uh, data that's most well known across developers and EA uh, traders across the industry. So really, really important that you do that, number one. Secondly, what you want to do is you want to load up your expert advisor. If you don't know how to do that, then you just go to file, open data folder, MQL5, experts, advisors, and then you simply just copy and paste your expert advisor file right here into this folder right here. Okay, so after you've done that, you can just come in here to your expert advisor in your navigator window. If you can't find your navigator window, just come up here to view, then you can open up the navigator. If you wanna open up this market watch here, you could go view market watch and that'll pop open that screen. And then all you're gonna do is right click on the expert advisor and you're just going to click test. And here you see the strategy testers actually been pulled up here. And I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do this. Now, with that being said, it is important to understand that back testing is testing a strategy over historical data, over stuff that's happened in the past. And while this is a good proxy of how a strategy could perform in the future, it doesn't necessarily mean that's exactly how the strategy is going to perform in the future, simply because this is past historical data and the market may change in the future. However, backtesting is extremely important to get an idea of the robustness of your strategy. Likely, if it's performed well over historical recent data, then if the market is anything close to what the market has been like recently, then the strategy should perform similarly. And also, that's another reason why you should use really good quality data like they offer on Alpari because we want to try to make this strategy as robust as possible. So now that you've got the strategy tester pulled up, let's take a look here. If you don't see your symbol here that you'd like to test with, then just right click in the market watch over here and then you can just go to show all and it'll show all available uh, symbols here inside of Alpari. So I'm just going to go ahead and click XAUUSD or gold. I'm going to select my time frame, which is the hour one time frame in this case. And then I'm going to select a custom period that I'd like to test for. So you're welcome to do it over whatever testing period you'd like. Um, however, I'm just going to do for this first month. Okay. Uh, then as far as delays, you can uh, do zero uh, ideal execution, or you can do your last ping to your server, which is probably going to be most accurate. And then as far as the modeling or the data type, let me spend a second to explain what this means. So there's different types of testing um, modeling that you can do. One is every tick. And this basically means that it's every tick in price that happens. So every time price actually moves, it's going to calculate that into the back test. So this is going to be more accurate um, than doing just like open prices, for example. However, it's going to take uh, quite a bit longer, but if you really wanna get the most accurate data, then this is a good route to go. I would say in my experience, every tick based on real ticks is actually even more um, accurate to what's actually happened in the real market. This is, uh, the difference is, is every tick is basically taking a candle, the high, the low, the open, and the close, and it's basically creating a simulated algorithm of how that candle could have formed throughout the period in that candle's time frame. Now, the difference with real ticks is that this is actually the candle moved and how they, the, the, the ticks actually form the candle during that session's period. So this is 
in my experience, the most accurate data out of all of these that you can choose. Then you have the one minute open high low close. So this is again, just going to take the, the one minute and it's going to give you the only the open high low and close. And then you have open prices only. So this is going to be the fastest uh, for sure, but it's also going to be the least accurate because it's only taking the open price of the candle, which as you can imagine, sometimes these candles are really, really you know big. And, and throughout the session, you may have a huge uh, wick down or something like that. So this is the fastest way. Uh, second fastest, uh, but these two every tick models are going to be the the most accurate, and every ticks on real ticks is going to be the fast, um, going to be the most accurate in my experience. So just for just for speed preferences, I'm going to go ahead and click open prices. I wouldn't do this normally, but just for the speed of this, deposit. I'm going to do a hundred thousand dollars. Leverage. I'm going to do. Uh, one to 100. And for optimization, I'm going to disable for now. I'm going to show you this in just a second because this is a really, really powerful two tool inside of MetaTrader 5 that most EA traders don't know how to use. And if you don't, then this can give you a, a significant edge on other traders using an expert advisor. This is kind of like uh, a cheat code, which I'm going to show you in just a second. So I'm going to display, uh, disable it for now in, in, in allow visual mode. Then all I'm going to do is come in here to my inputs. So these are the inputs in my expert advisor, which I could change here. So say I want to change the pip step or I want to change, uh, you know, use bi-directional mode or all these different settings that are inside of your expert advisor. You can go ahead and change these to whatever you'd like to. I'm sure you have some sort of hypothesis that you'd like to test. Hey, does this work better or does that work better? That's where you'll change it under the value column. Don't worry about start, step and stop. I'll explain that when we go over the optimization. So now I am going to simply just go here and I'm going to click start and allow visual mode. And you can see here that it's beginning to run the test and I can speed this up just by dragging this bar here and you'll see it'll go through really, really fast. Okay. And boom, we're done. So we see that the ending balance was $1,291 and you can see the history of each trade here. Um, as well as your journal. Uh, so there you have it, right? That's that's pretty cool. You can also come back here um, and you can look at the back test uh, report, essentially of how it actually performed. You can see, you know, the profit factor. You can see, uh, you know, the 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 win loss percentage. You can see the um, drawdown, all of that. You can also see a graph of how it actually looked. And again, if you see at the end, you see that kind of like a sharp down uh, curve like this. That's because at the end of the testing period, it actually closed all open trades. That's why you see uh, it like that, right? Um, and then also you can come in, you can see the optimization results, which I'm, I'm going to explain how we optimize in just a second. Okay. So that's how you do a, a, a normal back test. If you want to improve your strategy and test multiple things really quickly, then you can come in here to optimization and you can go to show complete algorithm is, is what you want to do. And then you can optimize for balance. Uh, so whatever has makes the most money, essentially, whatever has the highest profit factor, uh, whatever has this, the lowest amount of drawdown, whatever has the highest sharp ratio, you can choose whatever you'd like to. I'm just going to choose balance max here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in here to my inputs tab. And in this case, I'm going to select one setting that I'd like to change. So let's say that you'd like to change your profit. Uh, target, or you'd like to change your pip step, um, which is just a custom feature to this EA since it is a grid slash hedging EA. I'll show you how this works. So what we're going to do is we're going to change these values here. So <clears throat> the start means that I'm going to start running test with a pip step of two. I'm going to step by two, meaning that I'm going to test two, four, six, eight, ten. 12. You get it all the way up until the stop, which is 30. So I'm going to do an interval of two all the way up to 30. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, all the way up until 30. And you can do this again, whether it's, you know, a moving average setting or whatever your setting is an RSI filter, whatever it is, you can do this. Okay. So there you have it. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to click start. And essentially, um, it's going to do this really, really quickly. You can see that it's already done all 15 passes. And you can see here the pip step, which is the variable that I was testing over here to the right. I can see the drawdown, the expected payoff, the total trades and the profit. So in this particular scenario, it showed that a two pip step returned the biggest amount of profit. 
um, which is kind of interesting to see right here. So again, this is just one setting that you can test. Well, maybe there's hundreds of options of things that you can test, but this is a real way where you can essentially outperform other people using uh, the EA or how, if you're developing an EA, how you can fine tune it to make it even better. If this video is helpful, please like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications and check out some of the other really helpful videos that we have here on this channel.